Hi, it's Gerald here again with Guide to 575, where we aim to bring you all of the happenings and information about stuff going along up and down the 575 corridor. Today in our community spotlight, we are highlighting the Atworth Arts Alliance, and I'm so excited to be here with the executive director, Kathy Green. How are you today, Kathy? I'm great, thank you. Well, I appreciate you allowing us to come out and take a look at the space and share it with our community. How long has it been here? Um, we will be having our five-year anniversary in December this year. Um, we opened the Art House December of 2017. Well, that is really good, and I think you have a mix of art here. We do. So can you tell us how, that's, how that works? So we have a few different things happening here most of the time. Um, we have the art house divided into kind of two separate areas. One area is works that are here on display that belong to our member artists, uh, artists who have joined as members. It's an annual membership. And then the other part of the art house, we do featured exhibits, and our featured exhibits typically last about between one and two months, just kind of depending on what the exhibit is. And art, any artist can submit works for the featured exhibits, and it just, um, there's a selection process, it's all done online, and um, we have had lots and lots of great artists um, displaying their work here, and we feel really blessed. That's amazing. Now, you're an artist as well. I am. What, tell me about your art. So, I, when I first started here at the art house, um, I typically just did watercolors, and I've done watercolors for probably 40 some years, um, and I still do them. But a few years ago, probably about three and a half years ago, I started taking oil painting, and so I now enjoy oil painting very much also. That's amazing. Now, we talked when we came in that you have a space set up where I think you have meetings, but you also do some type of classes or training. What options are available there? We do. We have um, a, quite a number of different classes that we offer. We have um, different painting classes, whether it be oil painting, watercolor painting, acrylic painting, um, pastels. Um, we also have a hand-built pottery class that we offer, um, for some for adults and some for youth. Um, we have, from outside studios, we have glass um, fusing and slumping is a class that we offer, and also stained glass. And then there's multiple other little workshops that we work in that maybe faux paper mache or Zentangle or um, just different things that when we have an opportunity to offer something different, we do. That's, that's great. Are there particular age groups that you cater to? The majority of our classes are for adults. Okay. Um, I'm struggling with ever since COVID uh, to find um, a good youth instructor that would be reliably available. So I am kind of looking for somebody like that. Well, hey, you heard. So if you're, <laughs> if you're looking for an opportunity, that would be great. And obviously with, with COVID and different things that happened, everyone had to kind of shift right. their approach to things. And I'm sure it's no different here. Um, in the five years since you've been here and been a part of the organization and, and the space, what is maybe the most exciting thing that, that you've experienced so far? Uh, well, I can't really think about one thing in particular, okay. but a few things um, come to mind. One is that I've had the oppor opportunity to meet lots of wonderful artists. Everybody's kind of local, as in probably within about a 25 mile radius of here. Um, and also, every time we have a new exhibit and people are bringing their works in for that, it's like Christmas every single time. <laughs> I get to see all these different pieces that people have created themselves, and, and they're all available. So they're, they're here, they're on display, but they're also available for purchase, and we, we really like that we can offer that to the community. So Kathy, I noticed that there are a variety of things on display. What are the, the various types of things that someone could uh, find here? Well, we have all different kinds of paintings. We have oils, wa uh, watercolors, acrylics, we have mixed medias, pastels. Um, we also have pottery, we have glass, um, whether it be fused glass or stained glass. We have wood pieces, we have um, handmade jewelry. We also have um, a lot of prints and note cards and um, other, other wood pieces, for instance, um, things that have been turned on a, on a wheel. Right or even some beautiful charcuterie boards that are handmade and finished. Um, so it's almost kind of the sky is the limit. Wow, and it's amazing that you, you present so many different um, 
types of artwork here, but the space itself is not huge. Right. Uh, but it's very well laid out, it's very well curated, everything has its space. Thank um, you. But it doesn't feel crowded or anything like that, even though there's something. There's a lot. There is everywhere a lot. Everywhere you look around. Now, you're right here in, in downtown Ackworth. Yes. Uh, near, I think it's Logan Park. Yes, Logan and, Farm Park. And so if you're in the Ackworth area and you're trying to get an idea of where that is, it's across from the restaurant 1885 and the park's right behind it. It's a very beautiful green space out here. <laughs> so if you're out uh, with your young people in the park or something like that or coming out to get something to eat, uh, be sure to check the hours and everything which are. They are Tuesday through Saturday from 12 to 6 and usually on the first Saturday of each month we're open till 7. That's awesome. So that would be a great thing if you're going to come down here and grab something to eat. Maybe you're doing a 7 o'clock dinner, you come down at 5, check out the area, walk around a little bit and then you can go on over to your dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Well, where can they learn more about? Um, we have a website and it's ackworthartsalliance.org um, and we have our homepage that tells everything about our mission, um, memberships, submissions, um, teacher opportunities, all that kind of thing. Um, and then we also have uh, some drop down pages for workshops and classes and a list, uh, another page that has all of our member artists on it. Um, so we try to make sure that our member artists can be recognized. A lot of them have websites that you can click on and, and see other pieces of their works. And uh, let's see, we have our events page. And so we have different things that we do. That sounds exciting. So be sure to check out the website, Ackworth Arts. Alliance.org. Yes. Dot org. So be sure to check that out. And as always, be sure to stay tuned to Guide to 575 for more community spotlights so that you can know what's happening beyond the tree line. See you next time.